Well, what's up, everyone? It's DJ Brettley here. Hope you are enjoying your day today. Um, before I get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So I'm doing this gig log today because I'm heading back on over to Celebrations on the River. And I'm going to be the officiant, DJ, and MC for Sarah and Victor today. Now, I was at Celebrations on the River yesterday for the uh, rehearsal. Just to make sure we had all the timing and everything right. And if I'm officiating, that's something I really do have to do. So I don't make any mistakes when it comes to the real thing. And with that... I've got to go upstairs to my office, pack up my backpacks, and then head out to the garage and pack 4.0. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll check in with you all in a little bit. And so today, I'm doing the rehearsal for tomorrow's ceremony, and we're running through it one more time just to make sure we have everything right. But yeah, it's Friday, and then as soon as we're done here, I get to run up to Lucky's in Winona to drop some beats. And so I'm mostly set up here at Celebrations on the River. And this is the setup I'm using today. It is my all black light through setup. And I'll take you through what I'm using. I have two RCF HD 15s. And then I have two RCF 7082As, I believe AS is there, uh, subwoofers. Um, my facade is a custom made front board that my daughter's grandfather made for me. Uh, next to it, I have two Rockville totems, and those are Scrim King scrims on those. And my moving heads today are two Chauvet Intimidator 150 spots. To the next, uh, to the right and left of my setup, are my light trees. Today, those are Proline light stands, and on it, I have eight Chauvet Slim Par 56, four Chauvet Mini Quintas, and then I have four Lixada moving heads. And that's the long of the short of that setup. Alongside of it, my up lights today that are obviously going to the interlude mode are all Rockville Best Par 50s. And let me take you behind the booth. And today in my booth, I have two MacBook Pro 16s. One is a 2024 M3 and one is a 2019 i9. I am using a Pioneer DJ DDJ FLX10 for record box. I don't use Serato, even though you can with this deck. Now, on one side of these computers, I've got Spotify going to my channel 4 because they gave me a whole big playlist of stuff I couldn't find to download anywhere. So I'm just going to mix it in off of Spotify. Now, with that, my laptop stands today are Odyssey 360s. And for lighting today, I am using the DMX out with a Donner transmitter going to the back of my lighting trees with those little flashing white bots there, dots there. And those are the Donner receivers. I have a lifeline table, and underneath that lifeline table, I've got a seismic audio rolling rack case with a radial engineering power conditioner, Phoenix Pro PTU 5000 mic set, and a Phoenix Pro PTX 20 soundboard. My fatigue mat today is from Amazon, and I'm using a Proline uh, music stand for my notes and everything else. Next to that, I have my Behringer floor monitor, and it's a Behringer 15-inch speaker I've been using for, God, close to a decade. And that's everything I've got here in the booth today. And around the rest of the room today, obviously we got the photo booth, and I'm almost done getting that all prepped for today. And my up lighting around the room is all from top lighting. And that's everything else that I am using here today at Celebrations on the River. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bradley, and not only do I get the privilege of being your DJ today, I'm also today's officiant. So before we do get started, if I could please ask everyone to take their phones out, turn them off, and then put them away, and be with us here today in this moment. We've got one of the greatest photographers in the cross taking pictures, and I'm sure she'll get every picture that you're all sure to enjoy.
If I could please ask everyone to please rise if you are able. Dinner service is about to begin, but before that, we're going to need to welcome our wedding party into the reception. So are you all ready to do that? If you are, let's make noise. picture time or it is picture time and the bride and groom Sarah and Victor today are huge Minecraft fans and gamers and if you can't tell they have their Minecraft hats on them for their picks and the photographer today is Sarah Schultz and she's got Emily and somebody else with her I forget her for a uh, third shooter's name today but this is what's going on If you can't tell, it's cake cutting time.
What's up, fam? DJ Brentley here, and I'm doing a recap from yesterday's uh, wedding. Uh, I would have done it last night, but I got home and unloaded all my gear and finally got into my house and dinner in me at about 2.33 a.m. So yesterday, all in all, was about a 16-hour day for me from start to finish. And with that, I want to say I think my reception went utterly well. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to make them dance with the request list they gave me because a lot of what they give me was Pokemon soundtrack stuff and uh, sound uh, music from um, games they played. So I was really not sure on how it was all going to go. And my theory was I would play a couple of um, really well-known songs and then work on a couple of their, you know, soundtrack songs. And it went so well. I was shocked. Like, I'd never imagined that uh, video game music would be my dance bangers at a wedding, ever. And with that, it was really a lot of fun. They didn't party like I, you know, all most of my weddings go to. In fact, they probably ended about two hours early. The bride and groom and their friends just kind of sat on the dance floor, looked at each other, and was kind of like a really, you know, peaceful, family-oriented, friend-oriented way to end the night. And with that, I uh, hope you enjoyed this gig log. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all real soon.